Hi, welcome to volume 3 of our Attack in Niwaza series. In this tape, we're going to focus on arm logs. In Niwaza, you're going to find that people are primarily geared towards one or the other type of thing. Some people like Osaikomi hold downs, other people like strangles, other people are more predisposed uh, to, uh, to arm logs. Personally, I like arm locks. I just seem it's to see arm locks more than other things, although I know it's equally as important to, to, uh, to work the other areas. In volume one, as we concentrated on the, the pins, it's very important to be able to immobilize the person so you can practice your submission techniques on them. And it's in volume two, we practice strangles. We showed some hand strangles and the leg strangles. This is going to really strengthen your armory because basically you can only be in so, so many positions in a, in, a, in a match on the ground. And from those positions, you should be able to turn a person over, arm lock, strangle them, and also leg lock, which is a different, uh, a different tape. Um, but in the arm lock series, what we're going to do here is work from different positions, as we did before, and then try and, get, uh, try and show how to arm lock the person um, from those positions. At the same time, once you get the person turned on their back, which usually happens when you're going to arm lock them, we're going to show how to break off the arms, how to break their grip, and so forth. Anyway, we're going to go ahead now. I'd like to thank Robert again. He's, he's my rookie for this tape, and uh, we're going to go off the back first. So, when we're here, the first, the first thing we're going to do is kind of catch the, hand, the arm. You'll see that automatically I've gone like this. This is just because that's my personal knee waza. I just like to grab up here, so I'm also attacking for the strangle, as, as you already know. So, when we go here, <clears throat> I'm going to go like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hand underneath and through uh, Robert's legs. When I go to this position, I don't want to grab the gi, I just kind of want to grab nice and gently on his arm. I don't want to grab like this, just nice and light, and I'm going to spin to this position. 